Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're taking you on a journey back in time to the 1860s, where we'll be exploring the captivating world of Victorian girls' fashion. Get ready to be amazed by the elegance and sophistication of this bygone era. The 1860s were a pivotal period within the extensive Victorian era, which spanned from 1837 to 1901. During this time, society was characterized by strict social conventions and a deep appreciation for modesty and decorum. And fashion was no exception. In this video, we'll be delving into the fashion trends that defined the 1860s. Each decade of the Victorian era brought its own distinctive styles and nuances, and the 1860s were no different. Prepare to be transported to a world of crinolines, hoops, and the emergence of alternative fashions influenced by the artistic dress movement. One of the key factors that shaped fashion in the 1860s was the invention of the sewing machine. This revolutionary device made it possible for women to expand their wardrobes like never before. Aniline dyes, derived from coal tar, also played a significant role. These dyes produced brighter colors that didn't fade as quickly as natural dyes made from plants. The fashion of the 1860s was characterized by its vibrant colors and intricate designs. Skirts were wide, creating the illusion of tiny waists. Corsets further accentuated this effect, providing a trim line over which close-fitting bodices could sit smoothly. Women wore multiple layers underneath their outfits, adding to the overall opulence. By the early 1860s, skirts had reached their ultimate width. The silhouette of the crinoline changed, becoming flatter at the front and projecting out more behind. This larger area was adorned with various decorations, such as puffs, strips, lace, and embroidery in silver or gold. Day dresses featured wide pagoda sleeves worn over undersleeves or in gagiantes, while high necklines with lace or tatted collars completed the demure daytime look. Gowns for more formal occasions had low necklines and short sleeves, and were often paired with short gloves or lace fingerless mitts. To support the voluminous skirts, hoops, petticoats, and crinolines were essential. As skirts became narrower and flatter in the front, more emphasis was placed on the waist and hips. Corsets were used to mold the body into the desired shape, with whalebone, cording, or leather strips providing reinforcement. Hairstyles of the 1860s were elegant and refined. Hair was typically parted in the middle and smoothed, waved, or poofed over the years. It was then braided or pinned into a roll or low bun at the back of the neck. Hair oils and pomades were used to maintain these intricate styles, and decorative hairnets added an extra touch of glamour. No Victorian ensemble was complete without a fashionable bonnet. Outdoor bonnets had small brims that revealed the face, while spoon bonnets with high brims and elaborate trimmings became increasingly popular. Bonnets were carefully chosen to complement and accessorize each dress, adding the perfect finishing touch to any outfit. 